Uh, hi, in this video, we will talk about how to configure or create rest assured Gradle project in IntelliJ IDEA. In our previous video, we have seen how to create rest assured Maven project in IntelliJ. So in this video, we will see Gradle project in IntelliJ. So for that, go to IntelliJ. You see that in our previous video, we, we created rest assured Maven project. Okay. So here we will create rest assured Maven project. So go to the file, hover a new. So click on this project, okay, project. So now it will ask what is the project name? Okay, so I'll say rest assured Gradle project. Okay, in which location you want to create this project? So D idea projects, YouTube projects, I'm taking this location and this language is Java. I'm taking, so build system. You see that Maven Gradle, I'll select Gradle and Gradle language also Kotlin, Groovy you have. So I'm leaving with Groovy and JDK, which Java you have that will select automatically and that's it. Okay, just click on this Gradle and Java. Okay, and then click on create. And then it will ask for the new window or this window. And this window means it will close this existing project and open this one. New window means it will open and the, the, the existing project will be there and it will open separate window with this, the Gradle uh, new project. Okay. So I don't want to use the old one. I say this window only. Okay. So it created very similar how we have in the Maven. You see that? So rest assured Maven project. So if you expand SRC, source main, Java, right? So there is source test Java is not there. So we, if you want, you can create, okay? So in the source Java, I have this org folder. I'll remove this. This is by default, it, it created one uh, org.example package and inside this, Oh, source test Java also created. So it took some time to load all those things. Okay. So source main Java, source main resources, and source test Java, and source test resources. All four folders created. And inside this Java, I have some package created, but I don't need that. Delete. Delete. So this org also I don't need. Okay, now simple. So, and then it opened build.gradle file and with by default two dependencies. Okay, I don't need these dependencies. Okay, so then this is a normal Gradle project inside the IntelliJ, but this is not rest assured. But how you can get the word rest assured that you need to add the dependency in here. Okay. So for that, go to mvnrepository.com. So in our previous video, we have seen. So mvnrepository.com. So here you just search rest assured. And the first link is iwo.rest assured, rest assured, click here. The latest version is 5.4.0, click on here. And by default, it is on Maven tab. So click on this Gradle, okay? And click anywhere. Automatically, it will copy to clipboard. Go back to your IntelliJ in the dependency, just paste control V. Okay. And save your project. And then in the external libraries, you don't see this rest assured. Here you can see the previous one, org.j unit, something like that, that we just removed. So I don't need these, but I need rest assured. So once you copy paste it and save, right click on your project go to Gradle section. Otherwise, you see this here, Gradle symbol, load Gradle changes. So click on this icon. Okay, it will take some time. And it will remove the previous one. And you see that rest assured 5.4.0, rest assured commas 5.4.0. It added rest assured dependencies and it removed J unit, something like that, that I don't need at this point of time. So 
if you want to test ng or j unit something else then you can add those whenever you need okay but at this point of time i am adding only just a rest a rest assured how can you make sure that this is added successfully these libraries external libraries are working fine so for that what i'll do in the source test java i'll create a package new package in dot et and inside this i'll create a class rest assured demo here we know some of the classes and interfaces that we already discussed in one of our previous videos so that classes or interfaces now i'm able to use or not we will check so i'll create a public static void with normal main method as we do not have any j unit or test ng to write those test cases or test method so here rest assured dot base uri is equal to nothing so request specification you see that are you okay so i'm able to use some of the interfaces classes which are there in the rest assured that we already discussed okay then that i'm able to use here means that uh, dependency is added successfully so now you can start writing your test cases to test your api okay so this is how you can create rest assured gradle project in intellij okay so that's all in this video thank you for watching this video please like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel for interesting updates